So the next step is to jack up the car and take off the front wheel. And now we're going to be taking off all the bolts over here and everything that holds that the rotor and the axle in. So there's only actually five things you got to do. You got to take off this bolt right here. That's a 17 millimeter. Then two big bolts over here. Those are 22 or you can use a 7 8 And then there's two bolts that are holding the ABS uh, sensor line and the bolt that's holding the uh, the brake line. So there's one bolt right here and there's another one right over here. Those are 12s. So let's just start with those. So I have a 12 right here. And there it is. I already loosened it a little bit. Okay, so there's a bolt that holds in the sensor and, the and there's another bolt that's holding the brake line in place. It's right there. So we're going to take that off. That's oh, too loose already. Alright, so that's another 12 millimeter bolt that was holding in the brake line. So now the brake line is loose. The only thing that's holding now is a little clip right there that's holding in the sensor, ABS sensor. So all you gotta do, you just gotta pry it open with a screwdriver. Bam. There it is. Probably too dark to see, but it, there's really not much to see. It's just a plastic clip. So yeah, we loosened up the our brake line. Those held in place with two bolts, and we loosened up our ABS sensor. So now we're gonna loosen up the end link right here. That's a 17 millimeter. There's the end link. So just put it to the side. So the only two things left, those huge bolts right here. They're 22 millimeter or 7 eighths. And for that you're gonna need a breaker bar. So what I have here is a, is a breaker bar and really gonna put all your weight on it. sure as low as possible and just pull <clears throat> it's a little bit easier now So then you do the same one for the bottom one. By the spec, it's torqued down to 240 foot-pounds. So that's really hard. Don't recommend doing that if you're just on a jack. Make sure your jack stands are place correctly.
All right, so they're loose enough now. So I can use a wrench. So all we're doing here really is only five things. Moving those two big bolts, the end link, so that's three, and then the two bolts that held in place the brake line and the ABS sensor, and then just unclip the little plastic thing right there that held in place the ABS sensor. So now, the best thing to do is actually to find something to rest the rotor on because once you take all the stuff out it's going to fall right down so what I found is a, a bucket I think I bought it in Walmart for actually just washing the car just put it like this so when you're gonna because when you take these bolts out uh, this is all this is just gonna fall down so but yeah, that's the next step so here we're gonna take these bolts out kind of hard holding the camera Now this is the last thing that holds the suspension. The strut is free from all the crap here, and the only thing that's holding it, these three bolts up here. So remove them carefully while holding the strut, otherwise it's going to fall and damage the brake lines and the <laughs> ABS sensor line. So I removed one knot, and I loosened up the other two. So now while I'm gonna loosening them up, I'm gonna hold the strut tower. <clears throat> it helps to push it up to remove the bolts. Be very careful not to damage the brake lines. Okay. So now the most obnoxious part is using the spring compressor to compress the spring and uh, this is a sport line spring and in this segment I'm actually replacing sports line with the stock because I'm driving across the country and I'd rather a car to sit higher and for it to be more comfortable
Go ahead, take a picture. No, I'm, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead, take a picture. Oh. Okay. Is that what you're doing? No. Keep going. On the other one now. Found that pocket. Mm -hmm. You didn't compress it enough. Stripping. So it's not stripping nothing. Okay, put the nut on. Jesus, what a hack job. It's not a hack. Okay, now it's. You're not gonna yeah, the other one we're gonna have to do with a with a key. Alright, so let's just put it back in there. They are not even when they're a little upset, yeah. Twist it. That's alright, just turn it where it's got to line up. <sighs> See that? Piece of cake. Good, 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 good. Alright, where are the bolts? Over here. Place the springs. There's a new crappy stock spring. So we, I was pushing it up while my stepdad was guiding it in place and put those nuts on. And then it wasn't exactly um, aligned, so I had to twist this whole while it was held in place with nuts up top. I could twist this whole assembly so that this uh, place where the axle gets connected can be aligned and I already put those two big bolts back in and by the way from previous time they were incorrectly placed they should be uh, the head of the bolt should be facing the front and I guess me and my friends last time we installed sport lines put them wrong way so yeah so these two bolts are in, so now we just gotta torque it to like 240, which is pretty much almost impossible. So it's, I have a 150 foot pound torque range, so I'll torque it to that. And then after that, just using a breaker bar and pretty much pushing my weight on it, that's it. 
Okay, so these two bolts are torqued. So now we're just going to put uh, these brackets for uh, the brake line and maybe a sensor. Okay, it was really hard to hold all the the brake lines in and put the brackets. I to do put the camera off, but yeah, they're back in. I clipped the ABS sensor back in, and put these brackets on, and this last one here that holds the brake line. And for these, they say, I think torque it down to like 29 foot-pounds. I just kind of do it kind of snugly. Like, you know what? <clears throat> so that's good. So this brake line holder is in with a 12 millimeter nut, I mean a bolt. And there's the holder for the uh, ABS sensor and a brake line. Also, two millimeter bolt is in place. I clipped the ABS back into the plastic clip. So these two big bolts are back in. So the only thing is left is the end link right there. So. This should be torqued down to 50 foot pounds. And it's uh, 17 millimeter. So I'll torque it down to 50. So I just torqued the end link bolt to 50 foot pounds. We torqued the huge bolts right there to close to 240, I hope. And then the bracket holders. Roughly 30, that's what it in the spec says, and the ABS sensor is clipped back in. So the last thing, or I guess the last two things are the these three bolts. They're supposed to be torqued down to 50, and then we need to torque down the middle bolt right there. This bolt right here, I think that was a 19. Also, my spring compressor uh, was 19. So I used the uh, impact wrench for it. So that made it a lot easier. <laughs> So I guess the front is done. Now we just have to put back the cowl motor for the windshield wipers. And that's it. Rear is next. <laughs>